Well, welcome back, everyone. It appears that the majority leader is hell-bent to try to break the Senate. Uh, his argument is that somehow state legislatures across the country are busily at work trying to make it more difficult for people to vote. Of course, that's not happening anywhere in America. 94% of Americans believe it's easy to vote. Uh, we had a record turnout last year, uh, the biggest turnout since 1900. Um, it's already against the law to prevent people from voting based upon race. The Voting Rights Act is still intact. So it's appropriate to ask the question, what's going on here? Well, there's been a lot of talk about big lies. Well, the big lie on the other side is that state legislatures controlled by Republicans are busily at work trying to make it difficult for people to vote. If you actually read the legislation that's been passed, it's clearly not the case. And so I think this is an excuse to try to break the Senate. Hypocrisy is not unheard of in politics, but about half the current members of the Democratic Party when Donald Trump was president and we were in the majority believed that the legislative filibuster was the essence of the Senate. So I guess <clears throat> where you stand depends upon where you sit. And we anticipate, based on what the majority leader said, he's going to try to break the Senate, break the legislative filibuster, to make some kind of narrow exception. There is no such thing as a narrow exception. No such thing as a narrow exception. This, in my view, is genuine radicalism. And I might add, parenthetically, the executive calendar, a separate function of the Senate, was historically handled with a simple majority until the majority leader came to the Senate during Bush 43's tenure, after which he started routinely filibustering judges. Well, you've followed, we've gone back and forth about how to do the executive calendar. The executive calendar is now back to where it was 20 years ago. The legislative calendar is a totally different thing. So make no mistake about it, this is genuine radicalism. They want to turn the Senate into the House. They want to make it easy to fundamentally change the country. For example, admitting two new states, the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico, to have four new Democratic senators, or to pack the Supreme Court. Fundamentally change the country. The filibuster has been a way to conduct American business in the political center. If you're a football fan, think of it as between the 40-yard line. Unless either side gets a very large majority, it insists upon moderation and compromise. If you can't reach moderation and compromise on a particular issue, then it doesn't pass. That's been an important part of American history from the very beginning. And all of that's going to be on the line here, all of it, on the line here, apparently, in the next two weeks. 